what are the different ways you can open and process a file in C programming? I'm not going to talk about all the possible ways, but the most frequently ways of opening a file and processing it is going to be discussed in this particular session. That is known as modes of processing a file or file processing modes. Let us say I already have a file which has been created before. I just want to open it for reading. Then the R mode, what it means is if I use R when I'm opening a file, that means I can open a file for reading only. I can only read from that file. Now you may be thinking what happens if that file does not exist? If the file does not exist, we use a function called F open to open a file. F stands for file, file open. So file open will return a null back to you. So if a null is returned, that means it failed to open a file for reading because of one or two possible reasons. The first reason could be the file does not exist on the disk or next is it exists in a different location. You have not put the path correctly or third could be there is some error on the hard disk and it's not able to open the file for reading. Then common sense tells us once an option exists for reading a file for op opening a file for reading, there should be an option to open a file for writing because the first time you will always open a file for writing because you need to create it before you can read from the same file. Of course, if there is already a file created before, you can read from it. So when you open a file in W mode or write mode as they call it, the file is open for writing. But you need to understand two things here. If the file already exists on your hard disk, that file will be deleted and a new one will be created. All right. So that is really important. And if the file doesn't exist, of course, it will be a new file. Now A, A stands for opening a file in append mode. So if the file does not exist, a file is created. Otherwise, if you open a file in append mode, the file or the pointer goes to the end of the file so that you can start appending or adding from the end of the file contents into the file. So let us think this is your file. Okay, this is your file. All these text is your file. Suppose I open my file. In read mode, my pointer is going to start from this first F. Suppose I open in write mode, it's also going to create a blank file. Think of the blank, this entire thing as a blank file and my cursor is going to be here or my file pointer is going to be here. If I open in append mode and assume this content is already there in the file, then my file pointer is going to be at the end. Append means add starting from the end of the file. Although there are ways you can go back to the beginning, middle, anywhere, but append mode, the pointer goes to the end of the file. Now, there are small variations on read and write. When you say you're opening a file in R plus mode, it assumes that the file exists on the disk. If the file does not exist, you will again get a null being written by the F open function, which is going to tell you file cannot be created. Sorry, file cannot be read because it does not exist. The advantage of R plus mode is you can read as well as write from the file starting from the beginning, but the file should already exist. Then next you have is something called as the W plus mode. The W plus mode stands for being able to again read plus write from a file, but there's an interesting difference. Just like the W mode, it will create a new file and for if in that new file you can write or read. If the file already exists, that file will be overwritten or deleted. Now last most important one, not most important, last among all of these just to mention A plus mode. A is append. A plus indicates that file is open for reading, writing as well as appending to a file and the cursor is going to be at the last position of the file where you can start reading or writing from. And then there are certain functions which help you to move into different parts of the file as though it is a manually you're looking and reading from a file. So I hope this helps you understand what are the different ways of how a file is processed in C programming language. There are at least 8 to 10 other small variations on this, but these are the basic ones you'll be frequently using to work on files.